just want to wipe the tears at the feet of Jesus. I just want to wipe with my tears the feet of Jesus. I just want to wipe whatever I should. Did somebody desire to receive a fresh fire from God? A fresh fire from the throne room of God. Come on, desire a deep encounter. Desire Hold up a An encounter with the Lord tonight Just cry out in the presence of the Lord Hold up a Pour out your praise, pour out your worship Pour out your praise, pour out your worship. Pour out your praise, pour out your worship. Lord, we cleanse ourselves with your precious blood, Jesus. Wash us, oh God. Would you cleanse us? Would you make us? Would you mold us like a potter? For too long we've been trying to mold our own path. For too long we've been trying to mold our own ways. Too, for too far too long we've been trying too hard by ourselves just like the disciples cried all day and night to catch some fish for their food That night Jesus met with them They heard one voice They heard the voice of Jesus and Even though every cell in their body was telling them that There's no hope Even though every Cell in their mind was telling them there's no hope. We have far too much experience to know that things are not going to change. We have far too data to know that things are not going to make a difference for us. We have far too understanding and knowledge about this that we can't believe for anything better to happen. But I don't know who this is for, but if you can hear a word from Jesus tonight. If you can hear a word from Jesus tonight. Take courage, my child. And if you can gather up a little bit of faith. To do what he's asking you to do. To go where he's asking you to go. Be faithful in what he's asking you to be faithful. If you could cut to take up some strength to pursue a voice, a word from Jesus.
what seemed impossible to you the situations that you were stuck in day and night may a breakthrough locate you may a breakthrough locate you tonight may a breakthrough locate you tonight may a breakthrough locate you tonight may a breakthrough somebody believe it somebody receive it Worship like you have never worshiped before Worship like you've never done before Somebody worship the Lord As He draws near to you Draw near to Him As He draws near to you Would you draw near to Him As He draws near to you
Father, I believe that you have cleansed us clean, oh Father. Father, for we are made perfect in your love, Father. We are made perfect by the sacrifice that you have made for us, Father God. But you are a merciful God that forgives us, Father. God, whatever it is, oh Father, whatever bondage, whatever sin that is holding captive of your people, Father. I just commit it unto your hand, oh Father, for your name is power, God, and your name is healing, Father. Lord, you are all that we need. None of these bondages that we have serve us right, Father, but you are all that we need, Father, to look front and walk, oh Father what the shadows might look like, no matter what the mountain might look like in front of us, oh Father, you are all that we need, Father God. Lord, and as we have come into your presence in prayer and fasting, Father, speak to us, oh Father, open our eyes that we may see, oh Father, how much you love us, how much you have called us, oh Father, Lord Jesus, and how much you're waiting for us, oh Father, with your arms wide open, oh Father God. Lord, I lay it all at your feet, Jesus. Lord, I commit the word unto your hand, oh Father. Speak to us through your word, oh Father. Let our spirit grab it, Father God. Father, I just commit it all unto your hand, Jesus. I commit it all unto your hand, Father. Speak to us, Father God. Speak to your people, Father God. Heal us, Father God. Lead us, Father God. And lead all at your feet. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. How many of you are happy to be here? Amen. Hallelujah. If you're excited to sitting with a heart of expectation, I mean, how many of you are expecting some, something greater in this fasting and prayer? When you come to the Lord, come with that expectation and that belief. While you were worshiping in the beginning, God was speaking that. And one word was enough to change the situation of the disciples who were struggling to catch some fish. Is there anybody here that has walked today and has come for fasting prayer? One, two, three, four. Now walk in the sense you have work going on now. You could have walked now, but you came for fasting prayer. Because God was saying that the disciples were washing their nets near the shore and they were paying attention. They made their boat available for Jesus to speak to the crowd. Yeah. All the other boats, where were they? They were still fishing. But the disciple Peter's boat was on shore. He was washing the nets and he was listening to Jesus, the word of God. For those who have paid a price to be here, I want you to know that God has a reward for you waiting. That a word will locate you and your season will shift as the days of fasting and prayer are going on. Pursue the Lord more and more. Our God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Our God is a rewarder of those who come and pursue Him, who humble themselves, who run to His presence. He's not a debtor to anybody. Man, he's there's nothing that limits him. Amen. Hallelujah. As we continue to worship and praise the Lord. Let's continue to worship him. Sing the song of praise. To him. That his grace is sufficient for us. His grace is enough for us. We lift your name. So your people remember your children remember your promise oh God so remember your people remember your children remember your promise oh God your grace is enough your 
Praise the Lord. Let's take our offerings. Sister Shia will come forward and pray for the offerings. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. ஆசிர்வாதத்திலே ஒவ்வொருக்கிறேன் வானத்தின் பலகணிகளை திறந்து நான் உங்களை ஆசீர்வதிப்பேன் என்று சொன்னீங்கல்ல ரஜா மைனாண்டியோடு ஸ்தோத்தரிக்கிற ரஜா அப்பா இந்த வேளையில கூட தகப்பனே செய்தி பகுதியை கூட நம்முடைய கரத்துல ஒப்பு கொடுக்கிற ரஜா செய்தி கொடுக்கிற எங்களுடைய போதகரம் மறைத்து கூட ரஜா எங்களோடு நீங்க பேச வேண்டும் ஜெபிக்கிற ஆண்டவரே ஸ்தோத்தரிக்கிற ரஜா அப்பா இந்த வேலையில வந்திருக்கிற எங்களுக்கு ஏற்ற மண்ணாவை நீங்க கொடுக்கணும் ரஜா அப்ப நாங்கள் வந்த வண்ணமே கடந்து போக கூடாது ரஜா அப்ப நம்முடைய சந்தோஷத்தினால சமாதானத்துல கடந்து போவதற்கு உதவி செய்யுங்க மீதம் உள்ள ஒவ்வொரு பகுதியும் கூட நீங்க ஆசீர்வதித்து கொடுங்க நீங்க எங்களை ஆளுகை செய்ய நீங்க எங்களை வழி நடத்துங்க சகல துதிக்கான மகிமை எல்லாம் தேவன் ஒருவருக்கு ஜபிக்கிறோம் பிதாவே Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. <clears throat> Let's prepare our heart as you are taking the offerings. Glory to God. I greet all of you in the matchless name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today and forever. this night is our second night and the second day we are praying and seeking god fasting god has a great plan you need to believe that you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free as you go more deeper into this service or on from day and night it's not only you are going to think about your corrections on this during the meeting you must be exploring during the day and night this is only a place where we come 
and we'll spend time together so that god will transform you his is his presence is glorious presence will touch us hallelujah this is what the lord was speaking to me while we were worshiping you shall know the truth the truth is going to the word of god is going to come into your life and it will so every day and night every moment you start thinking about if some word is speaking to you some some incident is speaking to you some corrections when god speaks or some changes when god speaks hallelujah uh, immediately you receive that you start accommodating accommodating that change and whatever the time you understand you need to or god is speaking to you and i need this receive that it is not that somebody will come and pray for you so that you will receive there is no faith such you really need to put your shoe into that receiving mode because when the word comes to you you receive that maybe i am preaching or the the worship leaders are speaking or they just said but it relates to you if it is relating to you and you understand this is the situation i am going through i need change and when god speaks when you become humble to uh, when you you humble yourself and admit that god this is me i need that change i need that breakthrough then then you will feel the deliverance you will feel that some heaviness some control things are just changing and you feel so relieved you will feel so i mean free in your spirit your your all your wrong understanding goes off so yesterday i was speaking about james chapter 4 verses 7 to 10 today also we are getting into a time of preparation don't just be in a hurry to i received the breakthrough nothing happened yesterday i came today also i came but i don't feel anything remove all those we are just entering into the presence of god the lord said to moses 3 days because god is going to come into the presence and show his show his glory show his hallelujah his his power his majesty that's what he said so three days when we really set apart ourselves even even for fasting people those who are fasting it will take three days for you to settle down your hunger also will settle down after three days after 3 days you will say that i don't want to eat i just want to continue that's how it is you don't feel like it. your hunger will die off after some time so the 3 days of preparation so that your body your soul everything will come down to a level where you can understand the things of god that is why we put fasting otherwise there is no meaning in fasting you really need to bring your body your your flesh your your mind your will emotion everything under your spirit which is redeemed by god then only your pleasures will be lower otherwise your pleasures will be on top so here the lord said therefore submit to god resist the devil and he will flee from you draw near to god and he will draw near to you drawing near to god is not visiting the church that is different i have come across with the people they just want to come here bow down here and pray 5 minutes 10 minutes and then they leave they think god is his throne is here it's not here 
this in your heart. Why we come here? To learn the word. Know his power as we come together. We are, we all together we are offering a sacrifice of praise. When you offer sacrifice of praise, that sacrifice means you have no other things to say, think or act. It's only one thing. I have come to meet God. That is that three days of preparation God expected from the Israelites that they are anxiously, means it is not that anxiety I'm talking about. They were, they were very serious about God coming in the midst, nothing else. So our, our attitude should be just focused on God. Our pleasures should come down. It's still, if your pleasures are on the top range, that means still your flesh is on top. Your mind is not staying on Christ. It just fluctuates here and there. Even when we worship, we are thinking, we are bothered about many other, other, other answers. You are still in the very lower level. So we have to make an understanding within ourselves that I am going more close to God. I am... I want to really go more close to God so that all these fluctuations in my mind will, will be off and I will be able to focus myself on God, not bothered about anything else. That's what we need when you think about going more close to God. All your priorities will become less priority. Your priority will be more of God. So for that, whatever happened yesterday, I said about, I mean, verse 9 says, Hallelujah. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy to gloom. Hallelujah. So whatever we enjoyed in the past, even whatever we enjoyed today, we really need to reverse that. So that kind of a mentality we need to bring in us that, no, I am forbidden. I am not supposed to do it. And I am not going to go for it. I am not going to waste my time. I am going to read. I am going to, I'm going to study the word. I am going to pray. I am going to examine myself. I don't want my God to be displeased over me. I want him to please. I want him to accept me. I want him to, to, to put me into the next level where I will experience the freedom and joy. That should be our mindset. In this, yesterday I said about, I mean, Psalm 73 verse 28, but it is good for me to draw near to God. It was the decision of the psalmist that it is good. If I go more close to God, meaning if I change certain things which were, which were habitual in my life, if I change some more things, it is good for me. If I increase my prayer time, it is good for me. If I increase my worship time, it is good for me. If I increase my, I mean, reading time, it is good for me. If when I am reading, if I put my heart fully into it, though I don't understand, it is good for me. See, we need to come to a certain level where you need to Think about, it is good for me if I do this. If it is good for me if I just disconnect all the other things of the, the world. And I am going to focus more on God. That is called a dedication. The determination. It is not because the church is 14 day fasting. So I am also joined in this fast. That is not what we are all together here. That... Every one of us should decide that I am going to go more close to God. I don't know about what others are, but I just want to go more close to God. It is good for me. Good means it is good. All the goodness of God, all the good things of God, whatever He has planned over you will come and manifest in your life. 
your healings your deliverance your breakthroughs your financial breakthroughs your material breakthroughs you name anything it will come and appear upon us it will manifest in our life it will take us through anything which you found impossible will come amen i am just not preaching to complete the time i am not i am speaking to you from our experience the day i met god i have experienced the same thing when i am in a need when i stand for something i close all the other things and straight to him maybe i am talking to you but my heart will be with god some other call comes my heart will be with god i will not change my mind and i have seen it when trouble comes i go for fasting before all long fasting if according to the seriousness we will get into that fasting prayer and nothing else day and night if i sleep also i'll be praying and sleeping so when i get up i'll be praying again going still not reached we have our own weakness but somewhere we need to begin church we need to we need to begin somewhere to go forward the mo- the the most of the time what really matters is our own personal commitments and personal priorities if you want god to come and do something great then we need to break all those we need to break we need to make god as our best priority and the first priority we'll make god involved in our life by going more close to god hallelujah praise god now hallelujah Glo- glory to god so when we go more close to god yesterday we studied about the lament and mourn and weep the three state of our life for what we lost or what we have been done or we did not pay attention to god when god was calling us or we were not listening to him you know when god calls when you don't listen the word of god says in amos it says that i will also sit far away when you call me you will not listen that's the time you will feel the trouble when god gives you a a a notion to um, to seek him through prayer and fasting when we have no time god says i told you that time that was your season but you never turned to me so we need to lament about it god you spoke to me but you know i could not understand i'm i'm i'm, I'm really i'm sad about it i'm i'm really mourning about it because that was the best season in my life but i never you know sometime when people are blessed with job and increment and promotions and and good things are coming on the way you know you know your state will change your status will also change i mean you will go on higher heights that time most of the time people forget god because you already got everything i am really good when then you know we become like the church of laodicea the church of laodicea what happened they said that i am rich I have no problem I can see I can do I have all the influences I have I have the power I have the resources but God said you are blind you are naked you are just only talking about material thing you need to understand how rich you are in the earthly level you may be rich in the earthly level you may be having a name but in heaven you are absolutely not rich and you have no name in heaven you need to understand this very well when god raised you to a position even a little bit never forget to give more priority to god even when riches come more i mean wealth has come finances has come but you can never forget god i mean the more you give more preference to god hallelujah you will be blessed and you will go to the higher heights today 
as we are learning about hallelujah how to go more close to god i mean jeremiah chapter 4 verse 3 jeremiah chapter 4 verse 3 says for thus says the lord to the men of judah and jerusalem break up your fallow ground and do not sow among thorns so it's a it's a it's a it's a command it's an instruction it's an advice it's an admonition from god to the people the men of judah and jerusalem the men and women of the church of jesus christ the living body of christ the word of god is coming to you closely that you need to break up certain fallow grounds certain grounds where you never looked into certain areas of your mind your heart your choices your will hallelujah your determinations i mean your negligence i mean you never looked into it uh, what i have done is right or not whatever i said is right or not the confession what i made was right or not the the word what i spoke in anger it was right or not or the word i spoke casually was right or not why this trouble is not getting over we need to really look into the fallow ground and break it up we need to allow the mist that is the presence of god to form within ourselves so that that fallow ground will become so soft in the old time hallelujah glory to god genesis chapter 2 verse 5 says before any plant of the field was in the earth and before any herb of the field had grown before the creation before the creation of this plant world here for the lord had not caused it to rain on the earth and there was no man to till the ground can we put the the next verse the third verse but a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face of the earth, ground the mist the presence of god the, the power of the holy spirit of god the living water can only break help you to break the fallow grounds where i mean no productivity no fruitfulness happens we need to allow that god i mean i want the holy spirit of god to stir me up i want him to give me such kind of an in, in insight where i am able to understand why there is no productivity see people of god i mean you will hear the word of god from this pulpit but god will talk to you when you put your attention to it Moses was feeding the flock you might have heard this many time but i am bringing this to your notice that Moses was i mean shepherding that day he saw the bush the bush fire and he said let me see if he was not going if he was not going to look at that that day he will never will have that revelation he will never he will never have an encounter with god so we when you hear the word of god when you read the word of god i mean you need to allow that mist of the lord the the, the anointing of the holy spirit the presence of the lord the richness of the word of god to just go over you removing all your premeditated understanding remove all your prejudiced mind and your thoughts remove all your ego status and say that no i'm, I'm we, we always we just you know we we just praise ourselves though we don't speak with our mouth we just start praising ourselves that i am right i never been wrong that's our understanding but when you allow the mist of the lord to come that's an experience for that you need to sit 
you need to be on your knees you will you will experience it i am speaking to you all you try even tonight or tomorrow you will feel the mist anointing you will feel it it is not because it is winter season you will feel it and he will bring such a conviction within you where to break where to 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 plant where to i mean believe how to believe i mean how you are going to i mean face this challenge what you are going through that anointing will make you so melted melted in the sense so soft i mean you will be able to hallelujah you will be able to you will be able to know every detail of your life for that it is not that you will put something on this towel and then come sit here and think about salt is there or uh, chili is there or whatever is going to be get fire no you leave all those things pastor 6 o'clock fast to be break it's i have to be no don't entertain much connection of the outside sit in the presence of god hallelujah that fallow ground will be broken so that the right word will go into that ground it will make fruitfulness so here men of judah and jerusalem break up your fallow ground and do not sow among thorns matthew chapter 4 verses 18 to 19 says now these are the ones sown among thorns jesus spoke about this similar holy experience where is the thorn i'm um, how why god is speaking about the thorns between the thorns among the thorns why the lord is speaking so here it is now these are the ones sown among thorns they are the ones who hear the word of god we all are in it not that the preacher is outside we all are in it so it says that and they are the ones who hear the word and the cares of this world the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things entering in choke the word of god in prayer and fasting this is important very important every time you read the word of god this is important because they have an ability the cares of this world and then the deceitfulness of riches riches means you know you want upgradation you want you don't want to stay in the same state of wealth because wealth is the rich man's safety the bible speaks wealth is important that is the rich man's safety that's why they always have that means not they we all have that desire i mean you don't have any desire for wealth nobody oh if you don't desire the wealth will never increase you must have wealth a minor you are shameful of speaking about it you must be joyful to speak about wealth because we have a god who has everything and his children are not beggars we are rich people maybe when you think about your 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 riches when you calculate there is nothing that is your earthly thought but when you are in need if you don't think or talk about right now in your need you will not have anything if you need 1 million god will provide at that time i mean if you need more than that god will provide you at that time but if you don't think about it and speak by faith nothing comes whatever i have learned from this from the word of god i understood one thing if you don't talk about it if you don't think about it if you don't appropriate the word in your life i mean nothing happens if you don't attempt to pray seek god for even small matters i mean that is not going to happen 
so that's why i always say make short prayers immediately so that god is in action god will do it so never never reject hallelujah never reject anything good when it comes or oh, is no no pastor i don't need wealth you don't need wealth you will not have wealth i'm really i'm talking i'm not joking i'm really speaking you want or you don't want you want finances yes so if you want finances you need to talk about wealth as well i am not teaching like somebody you know some of, some of them when they hear the oh he is talking prosperity gospel no my god is a prosperous god and he has given me that good news i have seen it everywhere in my life amen i i am telling you because god is able to do this so you need to speak about it but the deceitfulness of riches should not hold us you should not have that greedy attitude or that subtle attitude or, or i want you 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 should not entertain that becoming quick in bringing riches you should walk with god go more close to god then you will see how god is just bringing i mean his resources to you abraham started walking with god i mean god promised everything but from that time onwards it started moving forward if parents if you speak about wealth and finance though you may not have much of high range but when your children comes they will enjoy it when the children start praying and speaking about the faith what the parents had i mean their children will have much more than that that is the proportionate growth god has promised in our in in the scripture so we need to really activate that when you are sometime you may not be able to speak like that you cannot even think or imagine like that because you don't have anything what you are thinking but that is the time where you are going to talk about my god is going to do that hallelujah my god is going to give me this my god is going to give me that you know whatever you, this and that you add it you name it god i'm talking about this and you will see it 100% hallelujah you will see that praise god mm. so here let's 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 learn about this so here the lord said these are the these are the ones sown among thorns so number one is cares of this world if you're too much caring about the world and the world system okay that world system always controls us but if you keep giving yourself to that control of the world you will not be able to come out of that control but we need to distinguish between the world and the kingdom as a child of god as born again believers you need to put the kingdom principles in the very front suppose you hear a bad news kingdom principles should come suppose you know you are you are praying for something nothing happened the kingdom principles should come that is how you go more close to god there is no distance kept in front of us the more you go in bringing the truth into your life to to be a living testimony when no answers still you will hold on to the kingdom principle it may only take some few months or some few years but when you are sincere and dedicated not moving here and there from the concept of the principles of the kingdom you are past the test and you will go forward i mean if you believe that this is what i have seen it so today as you are listening this word hallelujah the deceitfulness of the riches that should not hold us you you should not be i mean always thinking about how to make wealth how to how i am going to be rich how i can compete others how i can be somebody different in front of others don't talk about all this you just 
go more close to god by removing all those understanding and keep walking sometimes people may not be able to able to even contain you meaning even they may not be able to accept you that kind of a level god will bring that's how it is joseph was not acceptable by their brothers but god made such a way that they all accepted him they all were amazed where we have come we thought that this fellow is gone but now i have come in front of him god changes don't underestimate what god cannot do in your life always i mean talk about it break the fallow grounds where negative thoughts are only you know whenever the any new plan comes or anything new which you hear even in the preaching that's i don't think it is not for me no don't say that you just say god i believe it is possible i can have that that kind of a mind setup you need to develop it so here and the desires for other things the desires for other things three things only the lord said about the thorns number one is cares of this world the more you care the outside relationship and friendship of the world that really choke the world the second is the deceitfulness of riches so means you want to become somebody i mean that will choke the word of god what it is it will not go inside before it comes before it goes inside it is choked the entry of this word is completely blocked suppose you go for an interview and while going only you start thinking about i don't think oh maybe somebody else maybe i don't know what questions they are going to ask i don't know how they are going to i don't you already choked that god's blessings you are going to ask for a promotion you already thought oh what about the others they are all old people how can i ask you already choked your progress a boss only favors those people he is angry with me you have choked it so how can you progress so the, the anything impossible uh, anything impossible when you when you think about it don't speak it out you must king you must bring the kingdom principles there nobody can stop you you must understand i mean god has favored you he has brought you to a place where he wants to bring a change a total change our fellow grounds will never allow that because you don't allow the mist to come on that fellow ground become a, a rain in that place so that all the negative things you may be speaking in a day oh i don't think this office is going <laughs> i think i must change this office i don't think this man will anyway anywhere bless me i don't think they will always show partiality you are speaking about it you have accepted their activity physical activity in your spirit not in your mind because as born again children of god we need to think in the opposite way that you are a spirit being your spirit is regenerated not your soul is active i mean that is why we are praying and fasting for i mean in between that is why we need to we need to get our position back like how adam was in the first state that what we need to think we are maybe you have your own weakness uh, deficiencies your own inabilities many things shortcomings lot of things are there but when you become born again you have your position is changed that won't change based on your day to day activities of your mindset keep this in mind your position in christ is fixed it won't change because you got sickness it won't change 
because you got a loss it won't change your position in christ will still be the same even when you feel that there is no presence of god i cannot feel it no it won't change it is not depending upon your soul upon your mind it you, you must have a registration you must have a real confirmation in your heart that yes i am a born again spirit filled person i am controlled by the holy spirit of god and divine influence of him i mean if you understand you need to change your mindset with your with your common mind you can never go to god you can never approach god with your mind thinking that god today i took a bath i changed my clothes and now i brush also i come perfectly all right and this will help god to to, to know me better no you wear the good sarees and dress it it will not change but when you change your mind when you understand that yes i am a spiritual person i am a born again person hallelujah i am i'm sealed by the holy spirit i'm talking to you very clearly maybe some of you are not filled with the holy spirit you are not maybe speaking in tongues speaking in tongues is the sign of the infilling of the holy spirit but the time you come in contact with the lord and you become a born again child of god you got the holy spirit to 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 begin with the more you go close to god the 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 influence and control of the holy spirit start increasing in you then you what you do you start i mean coming out of the the cares of the world the more you go close the deceitfulness of riches will just leave you i mean that all uncleanness on your outside will start leaving you and you will feel hallelujah i mean something different and you will never think about the other things the other personal things the preferences the choices that all will start leaving i am not telling you or i am not preaching that you will be an absent minded person to think all the things of the world and only talk about god you are not a sadhu you are not a hallelujah what is that you are not a uh, maharshi to only think about you know god you are common people we are all i mean family people we are all individuals having various responsibilities and and things but you can be one like this that you will think you are a child of god you have the holy spirit it doesn't mean that you are not speaking in tongues you are not the child of god speaking in tongues and infilling is a different level of spiritual growth you can even speak in tongues and go to hell you know that matthew chapter 7 read at home tomorrow this tonight there are so many people prophets apostles pastors evangelists teachers lot of people they come to god and say that i have prophesied i raised the dead i've done mighty miracles the lord says i never knew you so how they were doing this they were spirit filled people so that is not the sign that you are a child of god but that is the best method you can go more close to god the infilling of the holy spirit today when we were worshiping you have seen the total change in this atmosphere that time you can just sink into it you can drive into it and then then you can you can have that power you don't need somebody to come and lay you, their hand on you no you need to discern you need because god has brought such a presence here that he wants to fill everybody don't just confuse about what he's speaking to you forget about it i have seen in 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 our church last 34 years i've seen here even before we start the church all just 
desire the power of the Holy Spirit and you will start speaking in tongues. You just spend time focusing on God. Ask Him, Lord, I want the infilling. When it comes, you will speak. You don't have to learn anything. You don't have to buy hurt anything. You just forget about it, I have seen. After infilling, I have seen a lot of breakthroughs happening. Deliverance is happening because the, the power of the Holy Spirit comes. He, he unwind. He will, he will break loose of every bondage in your life. He will, re, he will release you into this prosperous, glorious, I mean, presence of God. There you will experience changes. All of a sudden, everything will change. The things which were not moving, it will start moving because of the power of the Holy Spirit. I mean, so here, understand this very well. We need to, I mean, break that fallow ground where, hallelujah, I mean, nothing is happening because these three things we believers do. I'm not talking about a sinner in this place. We believers, there is no, no non born in person are here. Only believers. God wants you to go more deeper into it. God wants you to, hallelujah, I mean, to put some attention, more attention on the things which you never attempted to cut. We never, sometimes we don't attempt to, to chop, prune. We'll just say that it's okay, that uh, pastor is also having that. We compare, because I cannot tell anybody's name. So, <laughs> pastor is also having, so I can have it. No, there is nothing. My wife is having, so I cannot have it. My husband is having, no, you cannot have it. He will deal with him. She will also deal with God. They will come out of that problem, but you will continue with the problem. The book of Revelation, the Lord says, somewhat I want to tell you about that lady who preaches, who teaches, I mean, fornication. She is a fornicator. She preaches. She is a special doctrine about it. But he, the Lord says, I have given her time. If she is not repenting, I will visit her and her children. What is that children? Not their family children. She has produced a lot of similar kind of mentality people that pastor has, so I will have. They have, so I will have. I can smoke in between. I can drink in between, not continuously. I am not. I can lie once in a while. Well, that everybody does. Correct? Yes? No? Yes. Be, be very serious. If you are going more close to God, use your tongue properly. Use your principles properly. At work, at home, in the church, anywhere, once you start using kingdom principles, you will see the change comes. Initially, you will see that, oh, oh before it was okay, but now, you know, I stopped that, that was too much problem. Now, that is the starting trouble. That's only the starting trouble. The Lord is testing and checking you what you will do. Because just now you put the gear number one. No? So the car will not go in speed. So, we have to break that. We have to break certain, certain things in, from our mind and start applying the kingdom principles so that, hallelujah, you will see, hallelujah, and you will start receiving the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And you will feel the change. You will speak in different languages. You will have revelations and understanding. God will speak to you through dreams and visions. But if that has to happen, some of you may be thinking, I never had any visions. I never had it. Because somewhere you need to break the fallow ground. It is not that God is partial. Or God is not showing you favor. So he has something against you. There is nothing. Only we need to really break that ground where we made mistakes or we saw wrong things or we had some kind of a wrong understanding. 
that we need to break it so that those areas will get clear off and you will feel the presence of god you will know hey god is with me but control your tongue don't ever misuse your tongue if you are going to go close to god how many time think about today how many time we lied soft lie medium lie and what is the next degree high high lie advanced lie super lie mega lie that all there are mega lies you will believe the lies you will wonder in the mega lies all the features changes you will make such a scene that you are telling the truth if we have done anything such repent and turn because you are going to go more close abraham liked birds that was his weakness he did not kill those birds because the small things the small lie once in a while passed yes i am i'm i'm i cannot avoid some time especially the phone call comes i cannot avoid i just but then i will speak to god lord i am sorry i did it it won't work if you really want a clear breakthrough and non stoppable breakthrough you have to decide he liked the, he liked the birds so he did not kill you know the story but then god taught him a lesson the knife what he could not pick on that altar after some time god taught him a lesson the joy what he was holding in his heart the laughter of his face his child isaac when god asked at a certain peculiar time he took the knife the joy the laughter the sight he was always looking at this isaac he was the joy of him that's what isaac means but when he was on the top alone going more close to god he took the knife to kill his own son that's a point where god's favor comes if you are reluctant in taking the knife to chop off certain small small or big big things you will never hear voice of god you will never experience miracles you will never have the prosperity or the prosper state everything will come into a test so here the lord said Genesis chapter 22 verse 10 says Abraham stretched out his hand so where was the knife where was the knife why he has to stretch out ha huh? think about it where he kept the knife not in reach by mistake also i don't know maybe god will change his mind sometimes we think all this sometimes we don't want to give the vows to god we have vowed to god that this i will do but we will just keep it a little distance away our tithe our free will offering our first fruit we just keep it little away so that i have little more freedom our prayer life our fasting our prayer our dedication our commitment our ministry commitment sometime we will just keep little away we will not sacrifice that the knife he kept it little far away but the time has come the time has come he understood I cannot just delay any more. He did everything. He did everything. He never seen any change. 
most of the time we test god we most of the time we just wait i did that but god did not do it i am fasting but why you are not looking at it you never you never you never said i am fasting you never accepted me you never acknowledged me i am still doing i am helping people i am doing that i am doing this i am doing the church work i am praying i am day and night i am waiting you are not doing hey don't test god he was just arranging the order everything is done hallelujah here you look at it the above verses verse 9 22 verse 9 Hallelujah glory to God verse 4 says then on the third day Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place far off he has seen it you know when you he when he saw that place what will be his heartbeat you think about it you know the day is set the time is fixed i need to obey i mean that's the time we all are just you know shaken sometime if you are reluctant in doing if you are just reserving something for yourself i mean but he has seen it and on the third day he saw and verse 9 says they came to the place there is no escape still we may be thinking but god god really you really want me to do this oh no anyway, i will do it let me see maybe god will come god will change maybe god will give me a new revelation oh if you are thinking about it if you are doubtful about obeying the voice of god your knife is little far away keep the knife on your loin this knife is the word of god the knife is the word the word of god is sharper than any other two edged sword But this is a knife which he has given for your personal use knife is a personal item the sword is for destruction when sword comes from heaven it destroys but knife it chops he did not keep the knife here on the loin it was literally far away but abraham understood oh i have come to the place of obedience if i don't obey i know i did not obey god about few years back that is why i am still carrying with this burden that's why my generation are on blessed I don't have anything to hope on but today I I got it but now I don't know what to do but then he said no I cannot people of god i mean the word of god is speaking very clearly to every heart including me i mean you don't just put your knife little far away so that you will have peace i mean when we have the knife on your loins you will have absolute peace because god will not allow some destruction to come near to you i mean god will not allow your hope to be lost i mean god will always i mean take you up and say that hey don't touch my lad This is not what I expected. I was only just looking at whether you will obey it or not. Now I know you believe me. By attending the church service, God never know that you believe God. By bringing obedience, keeping that knife always close with that same knife only, John chapter 15 speaks about pruning to this night I want you to close your eyes think about where is your knife are you carrying that knife every day are you in your words do you have that knife in your testimony do you have you did you have that knife in your witnessing do you have that knife so that you will chop what is not needed your personal life your witnessing do you keep that knife so that nothing else will come only the pure word in your thought life are you dwelling in the past abraham thought about 
that day when I brought the heifer, the goat, the birds, I made a mistake. How many of you will really repent and break that fallow ground? Yes, God, I made a mistake. I took a, a wrong U-turn. Take some time. How many times you committed? How many times you agreed? How many times you cried, you repented, spoke to God, hallelujah, spoke to some menders, spoke to the, hallelujah, glory to God, the, 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 the anybody who was just, I mean, bringing you up in correction. What is that time? The boy asked, Dad, we have the fire. We have the wood, we have the knife. He recognized it, but where is the lamb? He immediately said, God will provide. But God was looking at that knife. The portion what you keep it so dear to you, God always will watch. If something is so dear to you, more than the knife and God, God will always bring that for sacrifice. I said about riches, I said about cares, I said about wealth. That's God's plan. But if you are carried away by these three things, the other things, Take a knife and chop those. Put that sacrifice. Say that, God, I have various things rolling in my mind. Various connections I have. I am already in a running channel. And I am moving forward. But this night, I am ready to break this night, I am ready to stop those things. I am ready to break those things. I am ready to keep that knife close to my loins. When the knife is very close to you, it is an easy access to chop the enemy. Your addictions, your connections, your extra relationships, your mind wanderings, bring a knife. Take a knife. Don't be afraid to stab it on. Don't be afraid to use it. You use it. Your advices, what your advices give you, examine it, whether it is godly or worldly. Are you caring for the world or for the kingdom? Examine it. Thank you, Jesus. Take few more minutes. Check about it. Think about it. Even this night, you think about it. The Lord is burning. Lot of things is this moment. Hallelujah. Many things are put on fire. Thank you, Jesus. I can see thorns are getting burned in these areas. Hallelujah. I mean, those thorns are getting burned off. Jesus was, they placed a thorny crown Hallelujah. Now Jesus is carrying all your thorns, all your concerns, cares, other things. He took it away. But still you are carrying that thorns. Glory to God. 
Thank you, Jesus. How many of you will speak to God? Those who would like to kneel down. Just take some time. Tell the Lord, the Lord, I am also part of this. But I want to surrender myself. I want all those thorny actions and thorny thoughts. My uncontrolled lifestyle. My negative attitudes, my cook, method of speaking, I'm just putting a knife to it. I want all those thorns to be burned in my life. No thorns to exist anymore. Surrender to God. Lament about it. Repent about it. Mourn about it. God, I never knew. I never knew. I entertained many things. But tonight, I am bringing that everything on the altar. I don't know how to stretch my hand and take it. It is so close to me, God. I have allowed myself. I kept all those dear things untouched by the knife of you, by the word of you. I never attempted to come more close to you. But that day, Zacchaeus ran ahead of everybody who will run ahead of others. Zacchaeus, he was a tax collector. His dear heart was for wealth, for finances, for inappropriating the funds. how to make more money, how to increase his wealth, the deceitfulness of riches. But that day he ran ahead of everybody. And he climbed on a sycamore tree. He just wanted to see Jesus. That was only one desire. I only want to see Jesus. But that night was a change. That day was the change of his life. He used that knife which Abraham kept little far away. When the Lord spoke to him, he said, Zacchaeus, come down. I have a message for you. How many of you will take this? The Lord is speaking to me. God is calling me by my name. Children, put a knife to certain things, what you are engaged with. Tell the Lord, the Lord, I am putting a knife to some things which I am very dear. My heart's desire, my choices, I am putting it on. The lies, the subtleness, the cleverness, I am chopping tonight. Not only the children, the adults, clever answering, finding excuses, lack of commitments, because you have flexibility, you have you have choices. All those things. Don't give your tongue to even a million, a one by hundred time of a second to say a lie or repeat a lie. Your tongue has the power. 
if you have spoken some negative cancel that today if you have spoken negative over your life cancel that today as you are kneeling down in the presence of god say that god i have used my tongue for various purposes i misused my tongue for little benefit for maybe for some some favors you might have used you know when you use your tongue for other purpose than for the kingdom of god's principle you misrepresent heaven you don't represent god you don't represent as a child of god you are knife is not with you thank you jesus take little more time talk to god examine yours your dear things maybe you don't offering in tithe in first fruit in seed offering your vows the worship your commitments your ministry many areas it can happen but explore it god i am coming more close i don't want to limit myself i'm ready to give up anything what you do not like it let that knife very close thank you jesus thank you jesus oh thank you jesus if you are sure about it, just keep thanking god keep thanking god keep praising
love you have brought upon us thank you for accepting us oh god thank you for understanding our lowly estate our lowly mind father tonight we thank you for speaking to our hearts thank you for setting us free tonight lord let help us to explore this fallow ground more deeper thank you for the second day of cleansing in our life thank you for the power of the blood of jesus which speaks better cleansing better sanctification better righteousness over our life father help us to go more close to god we don't want to limit this we want to go more close we don't want to see that god hallelujah lord none of us are lost in this we want to see that every one of us are going to reach to that destiny what you have prepared for us none of us will be having the wrinkle or spot or any kind of blemish in us in these days that we will overcome every deceitfulness of riches the cares of the world and to the things the other things what we worried about thank you daddy you will prove in our life that what you have promised will happen in our life we put our confidence in you that it will bring such a great reward 
in these 14 days you will bring miracles healings breakthroughs hallelujah lord be wait on you we wait on you we thank you we praise you we give you all the glory and honor and adoration to you god you will remember us what we have surrendered in thy presence now receive the benediction may the grace of jesus christ the love of the father and the sweet communion of the holy spirit be with us now and forever amen amen god bless you i bless you tomorrow morning we have the service and all the other regular services will happen as usual God bless you.